Keyframing lights in Avid's title tool can be a bit tricky. So check out this short tutorial on how to animate and keyframe lights in Avid Media Composer's marquee software. For starters, make sure you are working with the expert animation tool set. Next, make sure you have an object selected within the canvas area. Then, make sure the Enable Lighting button is turned on within the Surface Properties box for your text object. Now click on the Light tool within the Marquee toolbar. By default, Marquee always starts out with one active light. Notice how the light affects the selected object. In this example, I'm going to move this light up to the corner of the screen, which will provide the main source of light for my text object. To create a new light, right-click within the canvas area and choose Add Light. Then right-click on the new light and choose Light Type Spot. Position the spot portion of the light off to the left side of the object. Now, in order to see the keyframe graph for a light object, navigate to the Timeline menu and choose View Lights. Then navigate to the bottom right of the timeline and click on this button, which is officially called the Collapse button. Now you'll see separate tracks for each light within your scene. Go ahead and select your second light within the Canvas window, and then navigate back to the lower right corner of the timeline. Click on the Show Curves button for the highlighted track. Off to the left, you will see a series of checkboxes for all the available graphs. Place a check within the light category. This will allow you to see a graph for the spot part of the light. So now you will notice the red graph line will move as I move the spot for the light. Now a quick side note, if you want to see a graph for the light object itself, that's part of the Transform category. However, in this example, let's focus on animating the Spotlight portion of the light. Click on the Animation Mode button within the Marquee Toolbar. Move down to the Timeline window and move the Playhead indicator forward one second. Then move the Spot portion of the light off to the right side of the text object. Notice a keyframe was created based on the position of the playhead indicator. Okay, now you can see you've got an animated spotlight. Now go ahead and turn off the animation mode button. Navigate to the properties window and click on the light tab. Go ahead and adjust the spot size and the intensity of the light. Notice how the graph within the timeline moves based on the adjustments that you make. Okay, there you go! For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a certified Avid Media Composer training class, visit GeniusDV.com.